Hey everyone, today we are going to study the network uh, lab on Cisco routers. Uh, this will be a basic lab that will be configured over here in the uh, session today. And this lab, I am going to use it over and over again in the upcoming videos that I am going to post. So uh, with this thing, I have arranged the entire uh, Cisco web routers and lab in a swastik way, a religious icon I can say, fine, so as to look at it in a very nice manner. And here I have configured router 1, 2, 3 and 4 with switches, switch 1, 2, 3 and 4, fine. Along the side I have also taken uh, 4 PCs, 10.2, PC2 is of configuring 30.2. PC3 is having IP address with 50.2 and PC4 is having IP address with 70.2. Isn't it interesting, right? Uh, the serial port are configured with 20.2 and 20.1, uh, 40.2 and 40.1, and 50.1 and 50. Uh, sorry, 60.1 and 60.2, and 80.1 and 80.2. Fine. Uh, also, there are fast Ethernet ports that is 10.0. 30.0, uh, sorry, 10.1, 30.1, 50.1, and 70.1, as shown in the diagram. So, with uh, not wasting much of time, and let me remove and clear it the entire stuff. Uh, not wasting much of time, let's get started with task one. That is configuring all the addresses that I have shown it to you in the meantime. So. Uh, with all these quick mods, I am just configuring with all these routers, router 1, 2, 3, 4 in a fast track mode so as to uh, cut the time short because I know you all are a little bit busy and tired with uh, big videos. So you can pause it if you want it, fine. So I am configuring serial 1 slash 0 with 1 slash 0, 1 slash 1 with 1 slash 1 and so on and so forth, fine. Uh, all these routers are now uh, connected but uh, there are four switches that I am going to use it and yeah I'm just I'm using virtual machine so as to code everything on virtual machine so over here I'll be installing all these things in virtual machines fine you can use GNS3 also or your local PC as you like it okay so now over here I'm just going to connect uh, routers with uh, Ethernet ports so uh, all the Ethernet port fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 are connected to Ethernet 0 port of switch. Fine. Okay, let me arrange certain stuff so over here and now. Oops. Okay, done. So now all these things uh, are done. Now let me type the IP addresses. Oh, yeah, the PC is fine. So PC1 is uh, kept over here, PC2 is kept over there, PC3 is kept over there, PC4 is also kept over here. Fine. Um, yes, uh, do not forget to watch all, uh, the entire video because uh, the upcoming videos are based on this video, fine, uh, Ethernet port 0 is uh, configured with these things. Uh, in the upcoming videos, I am just going to share how to configure EIGRP, OSPF and uh, lots of other protocols over here, fine. Uh, this is a swastik model of my topology, <laughs> uh, which I like data very much. 192.168.10.1 similarly 20. Dot, uh, sorry 30.1 uh, 30.2 right right and here it comes 10.30.2 10.2 and 50.2 hmm. there are certain typo errors that I am making and right now please avoid it if uh, possible and yeah, if uh, you find any of the error, you can mention it in the comment section. So other viewers also get the idea if I have made uh, certain errors in making of the uh, video. Fine, I will be really helpful <laughs> with your comments down below. Okay, so all these things 40.1, uh, 40.2 is being serial port and 60.1 is now coming over here. Let's see, 10.1, 10, .1, 10 30.1, similarly fast ethernet port 0 slash 0 is having 50.1 and I think so it's configured, 70.1, that's it, then done, fine. Okay, so let's get started with today's lab, it's done.
Hmm. 60.1. Yeah. Just forgot it. And now I'm just going to configure 40.2 over here and 20.2 and 20.1. Let me arrange certain labels. Okay, I think so. Everything is working fine. So let's plan with this swastik model into the network lab and let's start with uh, today's session. Let's great fine. So working on it. Fine. <laughs> it will take a little bit of time, but okay. So first on first and foremost thing, I'm just going to configure. Uh, VPCs that is virtual PCs fine the how to configure it is a simple command IP space 192.168.10.2 slash 24 is the CID that is subnet and the default gateway that is the router IP address is 10.1 uh, similarly 192.168 you can see over here it's 30.2 fine 168 30.2 CID R is 24 and uh, default gateway is 30.1 right enter and yeah I am just also come uh, saving the entire configuration for startup configurations so whenever I just come back uh, the same configuration remains over here IP address uh, is 192.168.50.2 slash 24 and the IP address is 192.168.50.1 and enter and yeah do not forget to give the save command right? so PC4 is IP192.168.70.2 slash 20 dot uh, slash 24 192.168.70.1 uh, if you do not wish to, to give the save command it's fine but uh, once the VPC goes down you once again need to configure the entire configuration that's all that you have to take care of right? so over here uh, let me show it the IP address that I have configured and show IP and 30.2 similarly show IP is 50.2 and similarly show IP 70.2 okay so all the things are configured let me close the unbusy environment uh, that I have done over here okay now with configuration I'm just using configuration terminal uh, I should have typed show do show IP interface brief sorry for the type error similarly config T do show IP interface brief. You can see uh, all the configurations are uh, not set yet. It's in the default condition that uh, all the routers are in uh, uns uh, sleep mode, as in I can say. Fine. Okay. Uh, let's wake them up one by one. So, with the router 1 config T, I'm just going with uh, uh, fast ethernet 0 slash 0 you can see it's 192.168.10.1 in the diagram also in the build, uh, given below and yeah do not forget to give no shutdown command with serial port 1 slash 0 IP address is 20.1 and no shut command uh, similarly interface s1 slash 1 is 192.168.80.2 uh, and no shut no shut is important fine right? Then, not, then do not tell me that I just forgot to tell you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, one interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 is 192.168.30.1. Uh, it's 255.255.0 and no shut. S1 slash 1 is also 192.168.40.1. Uh, sorry. Uh, 1 slash 1 is 20.2. Yeah. Okay, uh, 1 slash 1 is uh, 40.1, but 1 slash 0 was 20.2. I was just forgot it. Anyway, now um, it's going ahead of time. I'm just going to interface. Okay, I'm already in configuration. Interface uh, IP address 192.168. Uh, it's 50.1. No shut. Similarly, 1 slash 0 is uh, 60.1. And no shut. Uh, similarly, 1 slash 1 is uh, 40.2 and no shut. Great, isn't it? Fine. So, this is configured. Now we go for router 4. Uh, fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 is 70.1. Similarly, 
60.2 goes with uh, s1 slash 0 and 80.1 goes with uh, s1 slash 1 1 by 1 with no shut command Whew. it's a lot of typing work I done okay now let's try to figure it out and verify entire stuffs so the task 2 is for verification which I am showing it to you all people over here fine so I am just going to ping the opposite uh, side of the uh, router that is the next hop address I am just going to type it out fine so let me show it to you all over here I am pinging uh, router 1 to 20.2 similarly from uh, n80.1 fine the next hop address you can see okay this and it's done fine it's getting success similarly router 2 i'm just going uh, pinging from router 2 to 40.2 and 20.1 okay you can see it from the diagram the next hop address that is 20.1 and 40.2 Oops, I should have commanded do ping or I should have exited from the configuration mode. Okay, never mind. Uh, 192.168.40.2. It's done. It's getting success rate. Okay, so with router 3, I'm just going with 40.1 and 60.2. Okay, the next hope address from another router. Okay, so 40. Dot, okay, I'm using do ping over here. Do ping because I'm in the configuration mode and 60.2. 60 it's done fine now uh, in the another manner from router 4 let me show it to you in the diagram okay router 4 yeah router 4 with 60.1 and 80.2 okay so just duping router 60.1 and 80.2 okay so it's done simple and as it, as it is as easy as it is 10.1 it's done but similarly if i go for 30 50 and 70 it won't ping because it needs uh, some kind of routing algorithm fine i have already posted the static routing uh, you can see in the card view over here but uh, i'm also going to post for uh, ospf rip igrp or sorry eigrp and all the protocols one by one in a step by step mode so do not worry fine but this is the basic structure so some of the steps are uh, successful because they are directly connected others are not so they won't get pinned so now i'm just going to save all the configuration from router 1 to router 4 to uh, startup configuration so running configuration is saved to the startup configuration over here fine so uh, with this thing i would uh, like to thank you all people to watch my video do share subscribe and like the video and yeah uh, if possible do not forget to see the description description section below because i am also attaching the material for this uh, video also you can find this material from the description thank you a lot thank you very much